Hello, I am Kanak Angel, and today I will try to recreate Jelly Bee's Peach Mango Pie for my pie dessert. Before we start, we must wear our chef's uniform, chef's hat, and our apron so that we can prevent contamination to our food. And also, we need to wash our hands, especially now that we are in the middle of pandemic. I have my Mason Plus ready, and now let's get started. So this will be the day one of me creating my peach mango pie and in here I am going to work in my crust. This is a unsweetened crust for my peach mango pie which fails and you're gonna see soon. And in here I'm going to use four ingredients, all-purpose flour, butter, and egg. And first step is to put our flour in a bigger bowl and add in our cold batter and after that I am going to use my hands to crush the butter in the flour. In this step make sure that our hands are clean so that we can avoid contaminating our food also wasting our ingredients. And once our flour and butter look like this we are ready to add in our wet ingredients. We are going to add a whole egg here and put this on the flour mixture and add in our water. Make sure to crack the egg in a separate bowl so we can avoid physical contamination such as putting the eggshell on our flour mixture. And once our flour mix, once our dough looks like this, we are going to put this on our working station and knead it, knead this for a while. And after that, we are going to put a cling wrap on our dough and put it on the chiller for about 30 minutes before we add our fillings. And now for our peach mango filling. So, okay, in here we are going to start by adding the half of our peach syrup from the can that we bought. And after that, we are going to add our peaches and mangoes. This is about 400 grams of mangoes and peaches. If we are going to create the recipe, make sure that we are going to add an equal amount of peach and mangoes so that we can have balance on the taste and after that we are going to add in our sugar and let it boil for a while now that we have added our sugar we are going to put our slurry slurry is the mixture of cornstarch and water and we should do this step so that we can avoid having lumps on our filling. And once we add in our slurry, we are going to remove this to the heat so because it will thicken fast and let it cool for about 30 minutes before we put it in our crust. Hi, so now that we have everything ready, it's time to assemble our hand pie. So in here, I am going to roll out my pie into a bigger square so that I can cut square for my hand, hand pie. And after I cut squares, I am going to put the fillings and use fork to close the crust. And after that, that is where I actually encountered the problem because my crust kept on opening whenever I put it on the oil and it actually created such a mess because my fillings goes out and the pie is just a mess so I have to redo this tomorrow and hope for the best and I actually did a lot of my research on 
why the cross is opening and I actually asked my teacher about this and I hope it works tomorrow. So here are some examples of my peeled pies, which actually looks disgusting, but it's good. So welcome to day two. This is my first take and I'm just doing my grass, but a different recipe because in here I'm going to add sugar and salt. And just like before, mix our dry ingredients, salt, all-purpose flour, sugar, and add in our butter. And in here, instead of using my hands, I am going to use the fork to crumble my butter on the flour because based on my research that by using our hands the butter can be melted because of our body temperature so I'm going to use fork instead and I had a little accident that's why I have to switch my camera angles and I have to shoot this by one hand and in here I am adding my wet ingredients my eggs and sugar and in here I am just using one hand that's why my movements are so limited and once it looks like our dough looks like this we are going to add this on our working place and knead this for a while and just like before we are going to chill this in a clean wrap in our chiller for about 30 minutes so based on my Picture, it could be the temperature and also based on my research it could be the temperature that's why my pie crust is opening but it, and based from my picture it is actually about the amount of flour that should be added in and because maybe my crust is too dry yesterday because of the room temp because of the temperature of our house and that's why I decided to put every half of my crust in the chiller whenever I'm not going to use it yet and hope it hope this works but I know it works actually because I'm already done <laughs> okay now so in here I am just rolling my crust just like before and making squares and my camera skip on bombing and I'm actually adding flour in this so that I can retain them I can retain the texture of my crust and in here I am adding my filling in a in my crust once I actually made squares I am going to ro roll this out once more before adding my fillings Okay, here, here, here. It, I think actually the flour helps a lot. That's why my, oh, I actually forgot the rolling pin there. Hmm. Okay, now I am go, I'm just going to close it using my hands and fold the other side there. And, and I will actually use fork for the others and I'm just going to repeat the same step for the others and I actually made 20 pies for this and once we are done we are going to transfer this in a tray which we are going to put flour so that we can avoid sticking and we're just going to repeat the same thing for the other pies and I am actually just going to use the same filling from yesterday because it tastes great and it's so good that's why I don't have to do anything about that anymore and I'm just going to add this here I'm sorry about the people walking on my back and in here I'm just going to put egg wash and I'm still using my one hand because my camera pod actually broke yesterday. And 
and here I'm and after that we are just going to fry this in a boiling oil and it will look like this and after that it looks like this it's so freaking yummy it tastes like the jelly bean peach mango pie here are some photos of my final product thank you